This program is intended for mature audiences only. It contains strong or potentially offensive language of an adult and sexual nature. So, Mr. Discretion advised. The views and opinions expressed on the Curvaceous Barrier of Sin City do not reflect those of Vegas All Night Radio or its affiliates. All music, stories, and characters are the sole property of their creators and are protected under international copyright laws. Sierra, Alexia, Mama, and Sweet Cheeks are personalities put on for your entertainment. The stories are real. The language is explicit. The behavior is unbelievable. If you can't take the heat, get the fuck out of the kitchen. Watch out for Blasting to you straight out of Las Vegas, Nevada, it is the curvaceous bounty of Sin City, starring Sierra, Sweet Cheeks, Alexia, and Mama. Good evening, Las Vegas, and people around the world. And all you fuckers in Japan. <laughs> Are you supposed to say all you fuckers? I don't know what I'm supposed to say. Although, I know we talked about Australia, it. It's Australia, not Japan. Oh, that's right. Our Australian people. Okay, well, we are well, loving well. the Australians. <laughs> okay. We are loving the Australians this week because we had a new, a new club that has a grand opening coming up in October. In Perth, Australia. Where Sierra says nobody is ugly. No. And they advertised... With us. That's they right. Did. They posted it on yeah. the uh, Nationwide BBW Club calendar. Okay. On we got to change that to the International BBW it Club It is the calendar. International. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all, they gave me the sound effects that I wish. <laughs> yeah, <put> We're <laughs> in trouble because I got the sound effects. So, so what the hell I'm doing. For those of you who do your own podcast or thinking about doing your own podcast or video show, there's a, an app that you can download on your iPad or your iPhone called LifeBoard Soundboard. Soundboard Life Board. Or you can go... <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 wait. I gotta say something. She did that just as I hit send in the chat to double check to make sure my chat was still working. <laughs> so I hit the button and went... And I'm like, I swear to God, I'm not farting in the studio. Now, now I'm not a big fan of sound effects, but Sierra is, so we I gave it them. to Sweet Cheeks to do. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> we figure we get like a nice even even medium there. They don't give me anything tech, but they figure pictures I can cover. You know? It's, it's the C and safer. There's a <laughs> it's the C and safer sound effects. I can do that. Uh, there's also an online app. If you have your laptop, you can go to or an uh, online um, sound effects place called Audience sounds.com it won't work on your ipad that's why i had to find the life board soundboard yeah, thing it's but flash yeah it's flash only but There's it's kind of cool sounds, yeah. i will tell you the very first time that i suggested this to a show and i gave it to them in the free reign because it's best if a host does their own sound effects instead of having your engineer do it because your engineer doesn't know when you're going to crack a joke or may not think you're funny <laughs> okay <laughs> So they can't do that, that ding thing with the I've, drums or whatever. I've had that happen before. They, right. They cracked a joke and they're all looking at me and I'm like, oh, sound effect. <laughs> Sorry. So we give, uh, we, we want to have, have the host have their own ability to the do their own. The problem is, is that we never script anything, so I right. don't know what button to push. Well, that's the thing. That's that's kind of what it's for. And um, I was watching, I was watching some old TV show. I can't even remember what it was. And they went into this radio station. They had a keyboard set up with like 10 different sound effects for the show host. It was just a keyboard. And I said, that's cool. We should have something like that in studio. So I went and found these. The very first time I gave it to a host, every 30 seconds there was a sound effect. Oh, it they, was horrible. I won't be that well, bad. Well, here's the thing. They, they've got to take their time and get used to it. It's just like, right. looks like this one over here. Just um, like this one over <laughs> here. <laughs> this one over here. Yeah. She, um, she's not going to... You know, she'll be late on them. You know, the crickets will come in after we've started talking. You know, something like that. But she'll get used to it. She'll get better at it. She'll get quicker at it. So we'll be like, hey, did you hear the one about what Pontiac stands for? And we go through that whole thing. And then it'll chink at the end. And it'll well, be yeah, easy. that's like when you, um, when you start talking about how old I am. <laughs> Machine gun. <laughs> no, no, no. It should be something like this. <laughs> I am dreading this show. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. You notice it's not my hands. I know, I know, I know. But this is so, oh, oh, in the camera, in camera range, for those of you that are in chat. Oh, David. David. Branham. Brabham. Hey, David. Bra Love you, brother. Wait, Brabham. 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 Yep. Um, 
The volunteer the, guy. That's yes, how I remember him. He volunteers, volunteers all the time, once a month, doing something. Um, he's in chat. Hello, yeah, David. We love David. David, got to see you at the club this weekend. But for those of you who are going to be watching the YouTube video of this after, or the Ustream video, we have Howard Cohen in studio. He is a television and uh, movie and radio producer. And uh, he does the Bill Sardi show next door. Hello, ladies. I'm like a uh, thorn between three roses tonight. Glad to be here. <laughs> he knows the right things to say, <laughs> Howard. <laughs> but we're going to talk to him about Hollywood and uh, television and all kinds of good stuff and how to like uh, send in your ideas if you have ideas for TV shows and stuff like that. Howard is your man. Well, thank you. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> I'm looking forward to speaking with all you, uh, all your fans out there, Irma. It's yeah. It's it's a great thrill to be here. I'm going to get a name tag that says Alexia. But that's oh, okay. Oh, no, 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 it's, so no, it's okay. But you know, we call each other out, Howard. It's oh, like yeah. that oh, big. I'm so sorry. No, no, no. Um, here's the thing, though. I, the one thing I know about Howard, if your idea sucks, he will tell you. So. Yeah. Ah. And he won't mince words about it. be like, I'm sorry, it's terrible. Ah, thank you. <laughs> but I'd rather be told that that's than right. to uh, somebody He's strung along, yeah. Or to say, you know what? You know, if or, you like, yeah, do this send for us me. your pictures. Or We'd right. love to have you on the show up yours. <laughs> or, or if you do a little of this. I'll consider your idea. You know, <laughs> we're gonna talk a little bit about I that with Howard too. I like. need a blowjob sound effect on there. Oh, I've I've got one. <laughs> <laughs> My God, is this a SAG event or what? <laughs> it could be. <laughs> yeah, why not? I here. Oh, that's a baby cry. I that's what I was after. Uh, no, 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 don't that, do the blowjob. That's, exactly right. <laughs> <laughs> that's what you get when you don't do a blowjob. There's a lot of people uh, I wish would have been. And a your career does this. Oh, there you go. <laughs> that one's in stereo, even. Wow. <laughs> That's a good effect. You need to keep that keep one. Keep that one, exactly. No problem. What's this one do? What's this one do? <laughs> What's this one do? You can't have these buttons that close to me, too. You know that, right? So, um, in the news, I didn't do a lot of news this week. I've been really busy. I've been because uh, all the news has been about Syria. We should have spanked them a long time ago. That's the end of and it. And the fact that they're saying they're giving up their chemical weapons to Russia, yeah, not so much. I oh, am, you think they're all going to be honest? No, no, I, totally. I don't know. I'm I'm with that group of Americans that just doesn't really give a shit right now. now. I don't <laughs> really, right? Well, here's the thing. I don't give a shit except that <sighs> if we don't do something, if, if someone, and not, I'm not saying we as America has I know. to do it, but if the UN doesn't step up and actually enforce the fucking laws that they're going to make people abide by, nobody's going to abide by them. In my opinion is if Syria is going to fucking gas people, we should be able to gas our Al uh, Alabama. I was just telling somebody you're an eye for an eye kind of person. Well, I am not, on the other hand. But it's not an yeah. eye for an eye. It's just like there's a law that you have to stop at this red light. There's a law in the UN that you don't gas each other. No, no, no. I understand that. She just said if they're allowed to gas uh -huh. people, then we should be allowed to gas them motherfuckers, right? Isn't that what you just no, said? No, I said no, if they're allowed no, to gas she wants to uh, gas Atlanta. Oh, oh <laughs> no. Well, that too. But no, Alabama. 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 Sorry. Sorry. What's going on in Alabama? My ex husband and his douchey family. <laughs> and has anything good ever come out of Alabama? So this is what I'm getting out of. Sweet home Alabama. <laughs> Nobody even from Alabama. So. so this is the only thing that I've gotten so far out of this whole Syria thing. And I'm usually quite opinionated when it comes to politics and stuff. This one I'm just, I, I don't know. I mean, I'm on the fence. We should be in there. We should not be in there. You know what? Anyway, yeah. but the one thing that I've pulled away from this is seeing pictures of Putin without a shirt on with a horse. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen those pictures of the president, or whatever he's called, of Russia? Russians shouldn't be allowed to be topless. That's just... <laughs> hey, uh, oh, wait, wait. wait Canadians wait. have little dicks, wait, wait. and Russians have lousy chests. Wait, wait, no, no, no. He looks good. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm finding yeah. pictures for you, ladies. Okay. Well, you gotta know that, like, you know, that's on like mainstream. And I, I have been freaking ever since this Jody Arias trial, been addicted to to headline news. So now there's a woman after eight days of marriage, pushed her husband off a cliff. Right. I heard that story. Yeah. Oh, I wish and, I then, and then wait. First, she said, "I don't know where to find him." And in the middle, like, she goes and finds the body in the middle of like a million acres. So, like, that's a little fishy. And then we had an our eight days of marriage. Oh, Putin does not look half bad there. <laughs> right? He's got saggy old man boobies. <laughs> He's got blonde hair. That's why Alexia likes him. Which oh. one is Putin? <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. That was a good, good one. Good job. Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you very much. Right, put it in. Thank that's you. what you should Yeah, have okay. Well, I'm learning. I'll teach you. 
Okay. Now, the reason that I've I've heard this story more than anything, not because of the Syria thing, but because, uh, you know, Russia just passed those anti-gay laws. Right. And then he poses like this. That's the gayest <laughs> picture you could pose. <laughs> oh, no, he's got his gun now. So he's like, you know, on top I'm of I'm not the really gay. <laughs> I just play gay in my private life. <laughs> I only oh, play straight on. on TV. Anyway, so that's the only thing that I've gotten out of this. Episode. So um, I was <sighs> searching around for some sex and dating news. Oh, call um, my agent. Yeah, get me out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Howard. There, there's a new dating app out there called Twine. Twine? Oh, yeah? Uh-huh. Is that like when you tie the start knot? Start off to, to, to get into BDSM, use twine <laughs> and not rope. It's, it's, <laughs> use yarn. It has been created by um, one of those... Uh, it's, it's created by one of those people that uh, had... Um, that made one of those big ones, like eHarmony like, or, or Match or something, or something like that, right? Yeah. No pictures. You're not allowed oh, to do pictures. That. A lot of people don't think this. it's going to work because no. there are no pictures. Yeah, because you're going to you know end up with I'm... the monkey troll. <laughs> yeah, and then, you know, when I'm on, like, POF, I don't even look. If you can't send me a picture, I ain't even going to look at your message you send me. First thing I say is, why no pic? And they say, oh, well, I'm in business. Well, fucking, I'm in business, too. Send me a pic. Yeah, but you're in the whoring business, so. <laughs> yeah, where's my machine fucking gun? <laughs> <laughs> and then there was another story that I found about this guy in England who just got arrested for burglary, but when they searched his house, they found out that he had porn videos of him and a horse and uh, him and two dogs. So did they arrest him for the burglary or they charged the him, animal? They charged him for the animal sex. Can they sex? do that? Yes. They did not put him in jail because the animals did not seem harmed by the... By the experience? <laughs> oh my god. Wait a minute. Can they do... Th- well, I guess so. If they, no, well, they have, uh, How is the lighting? <laughs> <laughs> they have anti oh, oh, well, animal uh, bestiality laws. Yeah, right, right. And anti- I was thinking about if they went in, but I guess if if they went in to look for a gun, maybe in your house, and they found cocaine, they were rush you on both yes. charges. Yeah, and that's the way it works here too. If they go into your if they go into your house and they search your house and they find you know a dead body in there, and you know your fingerprints are all over the murder weapon in the middle of the dude's chest, they're going to charge you with murder. And probably whatever they went in there to search for evidence for. Right. So the funniest thing about the story, um, cause, you know, I don't think you should be having sex with animals, but anyway, the funniest thing about the story was that he put an ad on Facebook for work at a farm with horses because he has had experience with stud work. <laughs> no <laughs> fucking way. <laughs> that's, you know what? That's nasty. That's it like is. the man who had made love to the dolphin. No, that, no, that was a beautiful story of love. The, uh, the one with the dolphin and they were in love with the dolphin. Yeah, well, the dolphin was in love with him. Remember, the dolphin was making come ons to him. Well, oh. Right? Was that the way the story went? Yeah, the, the dolphin. Story was... and the dolphin died of a lonely heart. Yeah, he actually yeah. like made love to this dolphin. Yeah, like, because the dolphin wanted to. Yes. Yeah, I guess so. He says. That's was the he the top or the bottom? I it's think in they the water. It doesn't matter. The <laughs> They were floating. I just hope the dolphin didn't keep under the water. Like now, you can't tell me you wouldn't like to have sex all twisty turny in the water. I have had sex all twisty turny in the water. Sex for but me, not with a dolphin. Sex for me in water is like sex for you in the morning. It's very muted. See, yeah. Unless, yeah. unless your vaginal area is right on the top of the water, so the water can lap at your clit. <laughs> wake, wake up, Clitty! Wake <laughs> up, wake up, Clitty! A little water in the face. Yeah. You know what? I want to try. I, the only reason I would want to learn to scuba is so that I could try to have sex underwater with scuba gear. <laughs> well, All the way, do, like, you, way could, like do they make crotchless scuba suits? <laughs> <laughs> you, can scuba, you can scuba naked. You don't have to have a suit on. It just has to be warm oh, enough Oh, I'm picturing all this stuff, and then you're trying to fu- get your shit out in this little hole. No, you just go down to the Bahamas where the water's warm all the fucking time. And put on your scuba shit? And put, just put on your... your Blowjobs. Oral sex could be difficult. Your thing... You do not, not get any oxygen. Wait, 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 hold on. <laughs> <laughs> did you get? Yeah, you did get the I visual did. of that. Okay. <laughs> Is that how it goes? No. Have you ever had sex underwater? Uh, uh, not with my consent. 
No. Oh. Yeah. But you didn't complain. Uh, no. Was it with a dolphin? No, it was with the, it was with a cement or with cement stone tied around my neck. I think somebody was trying to put me under for good. Oh no! <laughs> oh lordy! Oh lordy! Is right. You have to be able to lubricate really well to have sex in the water because yeah. the chlorine water. Well, I have water proven does... that time and time again. Yeah, me I'm too. not in salt water, not chlorine water, but well, still, it's either still or dry you out water, 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 well. water, water is not a lubricant. No, water is not a lubricant. So you when better make sure your juices bodily bodily sex. This is science. This is science written all over. <laughs> <laughs> this is an educational show. Just so it you is. Know. It is. We have taught people all kinds of this. I remember one of my favorite bits on the show was when we taught people about using the baster to get <laughs> pregnant. Yeah, turkey baster. The home insemination kit. and how sperm is viable up to thirty minutes after outside of the body. Yes. So you can wait thirty minutes to inseminate yourself with. But you do have to. If you freeze it, you do have to warm it up slowly, and you have to bring it back to body temperature, and you have to understand. That, like, See, I would just have to do like, it right then and there because, like, who wants to take a chance on killing spurbies? Well, here's and I wouldn't use a turkey. Just fucking get on and hump, okay? Like, <laughs> okay, sir, really? Look, if you want me to be a guy, I'll put my ass in the air and pretend I'm a guy with a big ass, okay? I'm a big guy. Oh, I'm a bear, okay? That's a good one. Oh, maybe they can sell a vest with hair on the back so you can there wear you it. Go. It's a merkin for your back. It's a merkin for your back. So when you're trying to conceive with a, with a gay man. You could play gay. Okay. Except that I happen to know from experience when asking those who've done it, the butthole and the vagina do not feel the same. No. I'll do a lot of Kegels beforehand, okay? <laughs> a lot of Kegels. <laughs> Lord. And then put that yeah. vaginal uh, shrink cream. Right, and have him wear um, you have a to go get cock the ring. Cock ring. Yeah. You have to go Why get the, the hell is Jameson 51 the years old? Am I plastic. thinking about how to get pregnant by a gay man? <laughs> no. no fucking way, okay? If you ever read, uh, a woman jumps from top of Stratosphere Tower, you'll know it's because I got pregnant. By a gay man, no less. And a back merkin. <laughs> back merkin. <laughs> okay, so there's a new, and the last story that I got for this week was uh, there's a new uh, book out about the rules about dating. Okay, they so this up. I know, and uh, there's 36 new rules for dating, and it deals with the dating age and everything. And number one and number two just struck me as what? So the first one is be a creature like any other. Now, why they would use the word creature? That's the first image you get in your head. <laughs> <laughs> the second rule is look like a creature, unlike any other. <laughs> I can do that very easily. You got to come to my yeah, house on Saturday look, afternoon. Wait, 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 wait. Right, 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 right. I, All I know is when I got the lashes on and the hair's done, I'm my own creature. So what is that? <laughs> that's what they mean by that. They're I think not, that's I what they mean. Yeah, I don't think they're trying to mean like you're supposed to look like something out of Spore Origins or anything <laughs> like that. Although but, that's the first word my mind went to. It's like, <laughs> ah, nature, my mandibles. Wait, what, how is that first one written again? Be a creature unlike any other. Be yourself, basically. Don't, don't. Conform. Well, all I know how to be is me. No one ever taught me to be somebody else. And a whore. Well, that's me, I guess. <laughs> Admit it. And then camera number two is look like a creature unlike any other. Now, Howard, I know you're married and you've been for quite a while. How long has it been since you've dated? Or did you ever date? Because you're a Hollywood producer, so do you ever even have to date? <laughs> well, you know, you know, it, uh, I really don't really care for women that much. So, uh, so uh, um, me neither. You know, so Are you coming when, out of the closet I, on our show. Uh, uh, <laughs> so when I when I met the the lovely woman that I married, it was just like totally. It was totally by chance. I um, I don't really I I don't really like the idea of dating whatsoever. I don't like the idea of hearing about uh, phone bills and kids and their past boyfriends that left them in a the cold so i would just do a um, i would just do like a walk by and i would meet them at a bar be, uh, were, and, and and talk to them and if they got by the bar test and stuff maybe we'd go sit down for dinner otherwise so i'd say you know this isn't like really working out and i'd rather just go home and take off all my clothes and put on a tv show and eat a sub sandwich what's uh what, sandwich. what's the bar test what's involved in the bar test well for one thing I, they they really can't have any baggage whatsoever and and if they have baggage, you know, I, I've always felt that life is like on the old scale from one to ten. You know, when when you're young, like uh, you know, a, a young person in like maybe thirty and under, and you accept accept somebody in your life in, into your life, and they may be a six. Well, you can keep in your, them in your life, but if they go down to a five, 
or a four, maybe it's time to get rid of them. And as you get older, that number goes higher. And at the age <laughs> I'm at, like I'm at, if, if you're not like a, a nine and you don't stay at a nine, you drop to an eight, you got to go. So, so with women, that's I how like it, this philosophy. I mean, so that's how it, that's how it really was when I was dating uh, many years ago, like 30 years ago. If, if they were a six or seven, they came into, into my life and they stayed at a six or a seven, we would, we would date. If they dropped down to a six, they, they had to go. No um, holds barred. It's, it's, no, you're in or you're out. No, absolutely. In so, fact, it got down to a, such a bad point where there was a show here years ago called Hallelujah Hollywood. And I met this uh, beautiful showgirl, you know, and she acquiesced to go out with me. And I went to pick her up at her apartment. And I walked up to the second uh, floor of her, of her uh, apartment house, the apartment unit, and knocked on the door, and she was wearing a fanny pack. I said, this isn't working. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh. And as you could all see, I mean, I'm no bargain. I just figured that, <laughs> I just figured, like, I just don't have to put up with it, and I'd rather just be at home watching TV, I, eating a pizza. You, you know, I think uh, that's the difference between men and women. Men, just, they're, they're done. If, when they're done, they're done. They find the one thing that they don't like, and if, if they see it or whatever, they're done. Girls will go, oh, well, maybe, may, you know, it's just the one thing. Maybe there's something else about him. Most, it. most I women. I I day. know you are. I, I, I was seeing the co the kismet right between the two of you <laughs> you know the truth of it is the truth of it is is it, it's not like that with men actually i don't feel i feel like an, an an honest man will tell a woman exactly what's going on the problem and, is there aren't many honest uh, men howard yeah well i mean po people have a lot of time to kill and maybe a lot of money to kill also i mean why waste your time and your money if, if it's just not going going anywhere if you need if you need to go out and get laid you especially here in las vegas if you need to go you can just call up at somebody and for two hundred dollars it's all over you never have to see them again for the rest <laughs> of their lives and it's fine it's cheaper and, than and, trying to date them for three as weeks. long as there's a taxi cab a taxi cab company that's there to pick them up and get them out of there everything is fine <laughs> <laughs> like these two were cast from the same mold all right <laughs> yeah i think like howard i think i know all right and then so a couple of the other rules uh number three don't talk to or text a guy first isn't that old for new rules shouldn't that be thrown in the okay now here's garbage what I mean basket first. okay too. so let's say you meet off a dating site right and you exchange phone numbers right and text like, or is, are they referring to after the first date? I always, no, whether I like the guy or didn't like the guy, well, maybe not always, but most of the time I'll say thanks for dinner or, you know, thanks for the drink. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I, I, I don't I'm see this going polite. anywhere. Well, I, I, I have a question. How long into the dinner did you realize that you really didn't like the person? Did you well, get by the appetizer or what? Sometimes. Yeah, sometimes you know very, very, very quickly. So, and then you would continue to be there and just eat the rest of the. I food. have left, or or you know said, uh, but I have stayed too. Depends yeah. on where we're at. Depends on where we're at for dinner, Howard. Uh, right. <laughs> Did I eat my I, I steak you. yet? I get you, but you could go with a doggy bag. Yeah, that's true. That's true. The Sorry, this insult. is going to work I've out. Waitress, it. I needed to go box. Yeah, really. I, you know what's amazing to me is like you can have this great long texting friendship with somebody. <laughs> And they're very personable and very outgoing, and you actually laugh over the text. And then you sit down with them across the table, and they have the personality of a doorknob. Right. Well, that's because uh, texting is just like chatting or IMing on the internet. You can be free to be yourself, and you feel or more open with yourself because you're not face to face with that person. So many people get stage fright when they're right. face to face with that person. They're no longer they can't. They can't open up like that. It's not. It's easier to open up digitally than it is to open up. Actually. It still doesn't excuse people who fall in love over over emails or texts. Oh, that is the before they even meet somebody, the person, and then they are the completely planet. devastated when they finally meet them and they turn out to be a douche. Well, those people are just stupid. Yeah. Amen. Right. They're just fucking stupid. How do you follow up with somebody over a text message? So for these new rules, I was reading some of them, and all of them, a lot of them have to do with Facebook and Twitter. Don't ask a guy out over text, Facebook, go chat, or anything else. Uh, don't stay away from his profile, Facebook profile. Uh, don't hang out online so you can see if he's online, because that's kind of like stalking. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Yeah. Um, 
And, but I'm I'm thinking, is, but if aren't, I aren't these new rules based on old rules? Well, of course, because dating hasn't really changed. But I mean, I mean, I mean if, if I were free medium. and I'm and I saw a dude online, I've done it before actually. I've met a guy online and said, "Hey, you want to go have some coffee or something?" Right. And uh, you go to meet them doesn't mean I'm going to date them. It just I'm going to go meet them and see if I like them and we hit it off. And but why can't I do that? Why does this rule yeah, book have to a, tell me? Because it's a stupid rule book. It is a stupid rule book. Yeah. Uh, However, the rules about cyber stalking, those are pretty good rules. Because uh, there's still a lot of girls out there who do that bullshit. Well, and a lot of it's There's a lot of guys that do that Oh, yeah. Shit. yeah uh, uh, I can't count the number of times I would go on a first date with a guy and then, you know, was, the reason my personal page is not very easy to find is, you know, because... Your privacy settings? Uh, well, I've got my privacy settings plus the last name that most people know me by is not the last name I have up on my page and oh this is way too complicated how <laughs> how how pulled himself off facebook he's not even on facebook anymore no yeah. i haven't i pulled it off they they captured uh they captured every one of my i i didn't have a lot of people on there but the ones i did have were all business people that i do business mm -hmm. with and they went in and literally captured all the names all my contacts and and also pictures industry pictures and they and they went and they called them they called people off of it. They said they were friends of mine, and they went and they used oh, that. Oh, that's horrible. Oh, yeah, they, that's what they did, and I just yanked it. I just yanked it right out. I wouldn't, I wouldn't do it. So again. your account was hacked. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. So that is a danger. Yeah. That's why you change. That's why you have to change your password, password. every quarter. Well, you know, th you know something interesting? I don't know if you guys have read this. and You're doing the news. I just interrupt and change the subject oh, a yeah. little bit. No, it's okay. Go ahead. But in, in California now, they're talking about the electronic license plates. I don't know if you've heard about that or not, mm -hmm. but uh, but they're experimenting like I think it's 0.5% of the people in, <laughs> in, in Los Angeles. They're giving them sort of a iPad-esque kind of a plate that's attached to the car and the number is is put on where people don't have to go to the DMV anymore, and they don't have to uh, spend. I think it, I think it saves them something like twenty million dollars a year just in postage going back and forth. If when they get this running, and they go ahead and they put their number on there, and then if if it's expired, it says expired on there. And if wow! The, and if the car is stolen, it says it's stolen on there, and all of those those things. So. It, there yeah. again is Big Brother getting a little bit yeah. too close. Yeah. Well, and here's the thing. I am already calculating how long it's going to take somebody to hack that system. Exactly. So that right. all you have to do is, hey, man, just bring your car over. I've got a scrambler. I can fix it exactly. so that it never expires. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I can guarantee you the day after, if they've announced that this is what they're working on, the day after the first one hits the streets, there will be some... Uh, some vato down in South Central telling his friends, hey, man, you bring your friend, you bring your car to my friend's house, man, you got that thing. We yeah. can fix it. Guaranteed. So, so I'm, I, don't, I don't know the name of this book. I don't really care to know the name of it. Don't buy a dating book unless it has our stamp of approval on it. Yeah. So until you see the Sin City Bounty 3 Girl logo on the book. And I, I'm going to put my stamp, my personal stamp of approval on a book called The Idiot's Guide, The Complete Idiot's Guide to Dating Online. Oh. Um, I got. Some, we should get them on the air. Uh, right, yeah, we should. I yeah. should go find that book. Where is it? Ooh, it might be at the house yeah. with the X. Um, <laughs> that's probably a good thing. Maybe he needs it. I think we but, only have one right now. It's that's the Marcus Melaton book. Right. Um, but yeah, it was. Uh, it really helped Two, me out a Rodney, lot. But it's not a dating book. No, it's not yeah. a dating. Rod Rodney should write a dating book. Yeah. Maybe you should. So do you guys go? Do you guys go and date on online? I mean, you. Do, not have you, have you, I do. Ha she do does. you? And and what what's your experience with it? I've met some very nice men. Uh -huh. I've met met some douchebags. Uh -huh. So what? When 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 was it that you pulled the trigger? When was it that you said, "Let's go out and actually meet"? How long did it take to do that? It it varies, and and I'll be very honest with you. Sometimes I'm like, "Hmm, I ain't got nothing to do tonight. Let me find a date." And I'll get online, and I'm out going and meeting for somebody for coffee that night. Uh -huh. Sometimes, like, I have a couple of guys I have been texting and chatting with online for a few months, and we just haven't got our schedules together to possibly But it's meet. as soon as possible for you, isn't it? Not Most, always. No? Not, I like, I'm okay with the... See, see, I'm a different doc. I've been married and divorced twice, and I have serious issues. So it's all. I was telling somebody <laughs> on the phone today that I'm almost. If you guys notice, a lot of the guys I date are guys that have been trying to date me for months. Mm -hmm. They keep sending me message on the dating site, messages and messages, and finally, you have to wear I her go, down. 
finally, um, I think, okay, this guy has pursued me enough. I'm going to go out with him because he's not given up. And I, she makes you work for it. I do. <laughs> okay, so th- now here's this guy that's been pursuing you for months and months, and you finally acquiesce, and you say, let's go meet where you have a you, you have a, a neutral zone, a neutral place. Some, I'll tell you, I've met a lot of guys across the street here at Big Dogs. Okay, so you, you, know, you yeah. meet at a saloon or something, right? Okay. Or Denny's or something. Okay, so after these from months, so, so after these months and months go by, and and you and you finally meet this this gent, and he comes in there, and how and then, what happens when you you finally have that visual and you go. Oh my God! You know, I, now I don't have a friend that I've been talking to now for two months. All of that time has really been wasted because you know you're not going to go. Oh, he's still a good guy. I'm still going to keep it up with him, right? Right. No. Okay, so you kill him, and right that's happened. That. Yeah, yeah, that's happened. So what? What is that about? <laughs> it doesn't. Well, he's the one that's got to deal with it because I've got Plan B, C, D, and E. I, I see. Down. I see. You know, I mean, She's I don't ever. On Craigslist. I don't ever put all my <laughs> eggs in one basket. Exactly. Yeah, but here's now, now. This is maybe an answer to your. To your your question is that that's why maybe guys don't want to step up and actually meet and they would they would rather stay behind the keyboard and write because they they built up a rapport with you and they have a friendship that even though as as veiled as it may be they don't want to take that chance of losing that friend they don't want to step out from behind that curtain and show you what it is and you know i'm okay with that i would be okay with that if they would be honest about that and say look i just want to be uh, pen pals. Text buddies, yeah. Yeah, but they, and I'm, I'd be okay with they, that. I don't think guys. I don't think that's what they want. I think that's what it just is. And I think that they. I think they're. They don't want to. They, who wants Meh. a girl as a friend? I'm a damn fine well, friend. Thank well, you very much. Well, well, I'm coming from my point of view. <laughs> I mean, I certainly, I certainly wouldn't need when I was a, a, a young man and not not married. I would never even consider having a girl as a friend. What for? Wow. <laughs> I mean, if I want a friend, I'll call up a guy and we'll go to a ball game. We'll talk guy He's things. Right. He's I mean, true. I mean, I mean, why do I want to talk yeah. a, a girl about? You know, yeah. You, you, unless right. unless you have a gossipy nature, I I have a male friend, but I know gay? he loves to gossip. No, not at all. Well, he's just one of the. He's one of the few. But I, yeah. from my experience, you can. Uh, if I had, a, I'd rather be by myself than have to talk to some girl about some dopey. I have a couple of guy friends. <laughs> <laughs> I I intimidate men a lot of times. I think that a lot of the guys I meet ass. online. No, not the. I have a big personality. I mean, as far as <laughs> I. I mean, who is that? What do they say? <laughs> Vendetta says, I like this guy. He has a very Woody Allen presence in his delivery. It's like the courageous bounty of Annie Hall. <laughs> well, thank you. Uh, it's the courageous bounty's version of everything you ever wanted. To Vendetta, we've like. missed you, by the way. We so thanks for being in chat with us. But I think like when I meet guys online, like they, they see my picture, and then as they get to know me, they like I you know slowly it comes out well I do a radio show and we talk about sex and I have a job tonight I'm gonna go strip at a bachelor party or I'm doing a reality TV sh- I think that then some of them go I Ooh, think you're a bit much <laughs> well and I don't know if it's I'm a bit much which I am because you know I'm loud or, and obnoxious or and they I do don't my think thing. they can keep up exactly right. that's exactly it they don't think they can keep up yeah. All right, well, it's time for us to take a break. We are going to take a quick break. When we come back, we're going to officially interview Howard. That's right. We'll be right back. Stay tuned.